What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. For those of y'all already here, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you like what you see, mash that like button. Let's get it. We are going to basically show you how to do the fishing boat. Now, first and foremost, you need a town that has a level two shipyard. And there's uh, Ilya Island and port here. I think that's it. So you need either one of those or both. You know, I mean, actually, if you get both, we'll get into that afterwards. But for now, just start with the one. And I got the port one, as you can see. So pretty much you want to just go into your shipyard. You manage your crafting. And as you can see, I'm already started. Um, and you see the list of uh, materials on the side here. This isn't like normal things where you, you know, you just send your worker and he, he makes it with the materials in your storage. You actually need to individually, manually assign each worker to one of these. Now, obviously, all my workers are currently, uh, I guess, all tired, so. Ah, do you have something to store? This one's pretty much going to be done. I don't need to worry about these ones up here. Alright, this one right here. Take one of the eights. Now just to make it go uh, quicker, rather than having one person do all eight, we're going to have two people do four. Why did it switch? Alright. Four, Y, start work. Next, uh, as you can see at the bottom left, your worker status down there. Now that one's gonna need one more for that one. All right, another eight, so we'll do another four. That'll be about 40 minutes for those. All right, now we just got these two. So in about an hour, that one will be done. Do the same thing with this one, except for more work. One, two, three. Three workers that essentially are going to make it. Eight. Alright, pretty much once all those finished, I'll have my fishing boat. Another one. And then I'll just basically start it again. And I've already, you know, registered one. So I've just been selling the rest of these. Um, now the whole point I wanted to show you this isn't just the fact of actually making it. That could be a little bit overwhelming, so I hope that helps some, uh, some be uh, people. But the basic principle, the reason why I'm doing this, because this is a very easy way to make money in the game. And it doesn't have to be just fishing boats, it can literally be anything. You know, just about everything selling, especially right now with how young the server is. Um, right now would definitely be the time to start getting into this, figure it out at least just the basics, just so you can get some sort of understanding. You can get, you know, even if it's a small 
all income. Uh, as you get, you know, up in the levels, um, and I don't mean with your actual character, I mean with your weapons and gear, you're gonna realize it takes a lot of, a lot of in-game money. A lot of in-game money. So, anything you can do now to help yourself later, to do here. Now if you do not have any all yet or you started one up and you didn't like the power or just haven't really messed with it since, I suggest actually going on your alt and questing it up. Now with that said, in moderation. I'll get into that in just a second. I'm gonna actually switch off onto my alt. Welcome back everybody, as you can see I'm on my alt at the moment, and I'm just going to go over a few of the benefits of having alts and essentially why alts are important, just as important as your main. Now as you can see on my main, I had a, a full 167 energy. On this tune I only have 34 because it generates slower when you're not on the tune. But that's actually one of the reasons I wanted to get into the alt. Is the total, the total number, max number, that is a shared number. However, the individual number is individual. It's specific to each tune. Which means, for example, I have three tunes at 167 energy. That will give me around 500 energy. That's a whole lot more energy that you can invest in your nodes. You can help level them up quicker. Um, you can buy more workers. You can do more gathering. You, there's just so much more you can do with that much more energy. Now the only uh, thing that's not shared in that sense are your contribution points. If you notice that stays the same no matter what tune you go on, but the benefit of that is questing on any of your tunes works towards that number. Which is why I say questing on your alt is important. And the, say, uh, the, the fact that your alt is going to be a lower level, obviously, at, at first, and then meaning you're going to get more quests more frequently. So it would be easier to level that up rather than on your main because maybe you got a few dailies to do. Now to get to the final two things, I want to show you why. If you have a lot of stuff, leave it with me. Your alts are important. <laughs> Within your allowed space. Is of your course. storage is shared. So anything you put in here on any of your tunes, you can use on any of your tunes. And the same, the same principle applies towards the marketplace storage. Obviously, the benefit of that is you can buy anything from anywhere. Obviously, it's going to go in your storage in the marketplace. You can entrust you can your goods without your worry, since it's an official trade tune. zone approved by the head of the Magic Guild. Now the reason why this is beneficial, for example, right now my main's at the Port of Feria, or Feria, however you pronounce that. And there's no marketplace. So in order for me to go, you know, get to a marketplace, I'd have to run quite a while. So to save me the time, I can just buy it on the marketplace, hop onto my alt, Grab it from the marketplace. This is where the storage, shared, uh, storage, shared storage comes into play. And then you just go down to your shared storage. If you have a lot of stuff, you either put it, it in this me. one or. <laughs> Within your allowed space, which we of actually course. got a couple things. Ah, there they are. See, I transport my fishing boat licenses from the 
port to Heido where my alt is, and then I use my alt to sell them. Which again saves me so much time from having to run around to each place. Which I think is the most important benefit of the alt. Is the time you're going to save from having to run around. Um, a lot of things are instant selling, and not just pearl items. This is what I'm trying to say, is you don't have to go spend a lot of money in this game. You know, a lot of people do because it's you know, easier, or, if you will, it's quicker. But if you don't have the money, you, or, can entrust you know, your goods can't really worries, spend that money. It's an official trade zone approved by the head of the Magic Guild. There are a lot of ways in game. It takes some work to get to that point, but once you do, it'll be definitely worth it. All right, that's going to do it for today's Ready? video. I hope everyone enjoyed I'll it. Just do the one for um, now. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. For those of y'all already here, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And again, you're going to hear it at least once on every video. Um, hey, and either way, you know, good or bad, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, let me know down in the comments which one and why. You know, it helped me out a lot, man. You don't even know. And I'll appreciate you even more for it. Um, hey, look forward to the next video. Catch you guys later.